Hi there guys, today a quick follow up video on the AT Tiny 85 chips. I got my hands on some of the 84 chips and I'll show you now how to reprogram these and burn the bootloader. Basically you do the exact same thing as we did with the AT Tiny 85, except these has more legs, meaning we are going to change how we connect them. And uh, you remember I had my own shield, uh, this one right here, uh, I used for both the AT Tiny 85s, 45s, 84 and 44 as well. But I'll show you how to hook them up uh, without these on a normal breadboard. So let's switch to camera mode. <laughs> okay. That's the cat meowing. Anyway, here you can see I have my Arduino, and this one is not a China. This is my original uh, Arduino from uh, Arduino, <laughs> and I prepared the pins already. So let's uh, put this chip in, and then we can talk about how the pins are supposed to face. Again. You can see this chip has a uh, marking, uh, a piece of tape, and that's because this one has a bootloader. And that's how I recognize my chip. You can do it any way you like. Uh, normally they don't come with tape. <laughs> so, but what you want to look for is the indent or marking of leg 1. In this case, these chips have this uh, U-shape. It's very hard to see. There we go. That U-shape means that the forward left pin is leg 1. So, I'm going to face it like this. So, the U-shape is facing towards the Arduino. Like this. And I'm just going to... Well, let's remove these. press it in right there then I'm going to hook up ground as my first thing and of course on the Arduino it's exactly the same as uh, we did with the AT Tiny uh, 85 we have a 10 farad capacitor well in my case I'm using a 100 doesn't really matter you need a capacitor connection between ground and reset so the Arduino won't reset once it's reprogrammed and then I got uh, wires in pins 10 to 13 so that's actually 9, 10, 11, 9, 10, 11 12 yeah and power and ground of course so Let's go over them. Ground goes into the top right, left, uh, sorry, top right of the chip, and left, of course, still. Power directly opposite, that's leg one on this one. Where these were opposite on the 85, this is how they are hooked up on the 84. And then I'm going to hook up my wires. So the first one is the far back one this one back right and that's going to pin number 12 on the arduino there we go next one is the one just to the left and that goes to pin number 13 on the arduino so we got two pins in and the wires are not crossed directly over Yes. Then the bottom right one, the first away, it goes to 11. And from this one, I count two holes up one, two, and three. Put that in there. So I got a spacing of two, as you can see right there. And that goes into number. 10. So there we have it. These are hooked up. Everything is hooked up. Connecting 
to USB. And let's switch to the programming. <coughs> and of course, the first thing you want to do, which I forgot now. That's stupid. And why is my picture so off? There we go. Much better. Well, not really. <laughs> um, we need the Arduino to be programmed before we can do anything. So, I'm going to unhook the power just for a second. I'm going to remove the capacitor. Just put it over here so I don't lose it. And I'm going to remove the power and the ground. I'm going to leave the others in. Then I'm going to connect it to USB. Switch back to the code. There we go. And then I'm going to click File, Examples, Arduino, ISP. Make sure my board is checked to Arduino Uno, port, and then I'm just going to upload it directly to the Arduino first. <clears throat> you always need to do this when we are programming other chips with the Arduino, right? So, cheers. Done uploading, okay. Then I'm on hooking my Arduino. Reconnecting my capacitor between ground and reset. Make sure the black line goes into ground. Connecting ground and power to my breadboard again. There we go. Reconnect. Okay, not sure why we lost the uh, connection there for a second, but we got it back. I just unhook, unplugged and replugged the, the Arduino, double checked all the connections, 5 volt, ground, these are correct, and then I realized my problem. So as you can see, uh, the socket I'm using is longer than the chip itself, meaning I have put my ground and my power in the wrong pin. So I'm just moving them one over, going back to the code, checking my tools, then I'm going to hit burn bootloader, and it says burning bootloader. There's no load bar. 
but it's done now. So that's already a good indicator that it's going to work. Now I'm going to upload my skits with the new uh, digital write where we have changed it to pin 5. So just hit upload. We're still on 80 tiny 84. Building, uploading, well, compiling first of all. Let's give it a minute. There we go, it's uploading. The Arduino is flashing like crazy. It's done. So, let's test it. Easiest way to test it is to uh, hook up a LED to that pin we talked about, or pin number five. So, first of all, let me get this uh, resistor hooked up. This is just a resistor going from an empty row to ground. You can see I have the same pin, that's fine. And then I'm going to take this. Well, we can take out the yellow wires now. That's fine. So it's just power it's running on right now. There we go. And it's flashing. Perfect. So that's how you program a AT Tiny 84. It's exactly like how we did the 85. Just like the 44, it works exactly like the 85. It's a 8-pin chip, where this is a 14-pin chip. Uh, you can use either one, and it really depends on how, how many pins or sensors you have in your project. Okay. So, hope it helped you out. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.